Israeli military vehicles and a helicopter were seen on Tuesday at Israel's northern border with Lebanon. Earlier Tuesday the Israeli military warned several southern Lebanese communities near the border to leave their homes, shortly after starting what it called a limited operation against Hezbollah targets. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu issued a warning Monday to Iran, which backs Hezbollah and Hamas. There is nowhere in the Middle East Israel cannot reach, Netanyahu said, just days after an airstrike south of Beirut killed the leader of the Lebanese Hezbollah group, which is backed by Tehran. Hezbollah's acting leader, Naim Qasim, promised the group will fight on following the death Friday of its longtime chief Hassan Nasrallah. Israel has also assassinated several of the group's top commanders in recent days. Qasim said the group's fighters are ready and the slain commanders have already been replaced. The Israeli army has been carrying out secretive ground operations to destroy Hezbollah infrastructure in Lebanese villages close to the border for the past year, military spokesman Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari said Tuesday. Hagari said that the current ground maneuvers in Lebanon are an expansion of the previous year's operations. He said that troops destroyed more than more than 700 Hezbollah sites, including tunnels carved deep into the hillside. They included separate rooms for storing weapons and what seemed to be bedrooms outfitted with mattresses. Israel and Hezbollah have traded fire across the Lebanon border almost daily since October 8, the day after Hamas sent fighters into Israel and sparked the war in Gaza. It's been almost a year since some 250 people were abducted from Israel, and friends and family are worried about their loved ones as attention turns away from hostages and north toward Lebanon. Israeli troops and military vehicles were seen in northern Israel on Monday. 
Earlier in the day, Israel's defense minister Yov Gallant hinted at Israeli preparations for a ground offensive in Lebanon, as he spoke to troops from the 188th Armored Brigade and the Golani Infantry Brigade on the northern border. Also on Monday, the first apparent Israeli airstrike on central Beirut in nearly a year of conflict struck an apartment building. It came after Israel hit targets across Lebanon and killed dozens of people, as Hezbollah sustained heavy blows to its command structure, including the killing of its leader, Hassan Nasrallah.